Developing tonight, a trip from the airport in a lift takes a terrifying turn. A passenger took these photos after police rammed the SUV he was riding in, broke out a window and pointed their guns at him. The innocent passenger was shocked to find out his Lyft driver was wanted for a recent drive by shooting. And police tell us they were shocked to learn their suspect was a rideshare driver. The defenders Nathan Morbido has the exclusive story tonight. Imagine you're in the back seat of a rideshare car. Next thing you know, police box in the car as part of a dramatic takedown. Then an officer breaks the window across from you. Another officer points a gun in your direction. Lyft calls what went down in Charlotte Friday night terrifying. Broken glass scattered across the passenger seat, a gun in the front. Thank God he didn't start using it. Out of town visitor Wes Wilson's ride went from routine to risky in a matter of seconds Friday night. All of a sudden, he's like, oh, He's like, I think the cops are following me. As his lift drove down Wilkinson Boulevard around 730. We're going to take him at this red light. Unknown to both the SUV's driver and passenger. Hey, I'm behind him. Let's do it right now. All of a sudden, the lights are on, the sirens are on. CMPD's Crime Reduction Unit plotted a takedown. Police vehicle ramp. Police vehicle ramp. The officer comes up and he's got his gun on me. All this glass like sprays me. He's yelling at me to get out of the car, get out of the car. My mind was thinking, okay, what do I need to do to, you know, not get shot in this situation? I've done nothing wrong. It wasn't until after police detained Wilson that he learned his highly rated Lyft driver, Bruce, was really someone else. Dominic Croma, a man Matthews police wanted arrested for firing shots at this home the day prior. There was a, a bolo. Be on the lookout for this white SUV with the exact license plate. Matthews PD said police did not know Chroma was driving for Lyft. It was a, a shock to officers when they found out that I was a Lyft passenger. Wilson, a Texas journalist, hopes his frightening experience results in better communication moving forward. There's just not enough cooperation between uh, between Lyft and between law enforcement. He says no passenger should go through what he did. I was frustrated and angry and um, and it was ridiculous that it happened. Court records show police cited Chroma for speeding and failure to take notice of a light or siren in August, but that didn't stop the Lyft driver from continuing to pick up passengers. Not anymore though, Lyft says he is now permanently banned from the app and Uber tells us there is not a driver with that name in its app. Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte.